Hey, how's it going, friends? Thank you for tuning in to VR Revelations once again. Welcome. It is January 20th, 2023. As of the making of this video, it is currently uh, 12 a.m., so midnight, uh, very late at night or early on the morning, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, it seems that uh, rumors are circulating around the web that uh, Vladimir Putin might be dying of cancer again. So if you remember last year, uh, he was supposed to, his death was supposed to be imminent because uh, there was videos showing supposedly his hand trembling and, uh, you know, rumors sprang up by Western media propaganda that uh, he had cancer and, you know, he was probably not going to last that long. Uh, of course, all those rumors went away uh, for months, but they're starting to circulate again after a bizarre speech by Volodymyr Zelensky at Davos, uh, uh, where, of course, all the elite of the world, uh, Klaus Schwab's and whatnot, and uh, Ursula, whatever her name is, gathered uh, to talk about, uh, you know, world affairs and what they think should uh, take place. Of course, that itself uh, has caused a lot of speculation about these uh, meetings between these elites uh, a lot of conspiracy theorists uh, out there uh, insinuating that this is sort of like the Illuminati gathering. Uh, in my opinion, they're just a bunch of uh, heathen, rich heathen that, uh, yeah, gathered together to, to speak about all these things. But uh, in reality, um, you know, they're, they're not at the head of these armies between these nations, so they really don't. Uh, you know, they're not like the masterminds or Illuminati behind them. They're just a bunch of rich idiots uh, that gather and talk about these things. And, of course, a lot of uh, speculation arises uh, from such events. But, yeah, it looks like Zelensky uh, gave a speech there. Um, he talked about uh, the recent uh, helicopter crash that resulted in the death of Ukraine's uh, Minister of Interior Internal Affairs which I covered on the channel, a very freak accident that resulted in the death of a high-profile uh, official and a friend of Zelensky. As far as we know, um, the man helped Zelensky in his campaign to become president. On top of that, before the helicopter crash, one of Zelensky's advisors uh, resigned, resigned when he revealed in an interview that the missile that fell on the apartment complex that resulted in the death of a lot of civilians there uh, was actually shot down by Ukrainian air defense missile systems. And so there was a lot of backlash. Uh, a lot of politicians were calling for him to resign. Uh, one of them called him a traitor. And so he resigned and uh, he apologized for making this statement. And right after that, he started criticizing, criticizing Zelensky. So a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of weird things are happening around Zelensky, and in my opinion, he's pretty much starting to question reality and uh, everything going on right now, especially as the Western powers refuse to go all in and help Ukraine as the Russians continue to advance. And so let's go ahead and take out this weird speech here uh, because he questions whether uh, Vladimir Putin is still alive. Uh, he, he says he doesn't know who he's talking to. Uh, he insinuates that, uh, you know, these press conferences where we see Putin might be faked. Uh, of course, this is sort of like a self-projection because we've seen that uh, Zelensky actually has press conferences in front of green screens. Uh, we've actually seen um, inside footage of, like, all the camera work and everything that takes place. So... Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at this video, and then we'll read the article here from MSN. What do you say to those people? Zelensky, uh, there are people who say, uh, when will negotiations for peace begin? What do you say to those people?
This is not the, the cinema where you're waiting for a film to start. This is a big tragedy. We, can't, we cannot treat <coughs> this just like ordinary peaceful neg negotiations. Negotiations is uh, about what? Be negotiations itself is not peace automatically. People have to comprehend what this is about. For three years, well, when when I became the, the the president, we have done all it takes to make sure that diplomatically we liberate our lands. We were proposing options. At some point, they didn't want some some didn't want to do uh, things. Others didn't believe in that. Others have come forward with certain conditions. There were lots of these people who usually were based in Moscow. And I don't really understand right now today who to talk to and what to talk about. I'm not sure that the president of Russia that sometimes come come out on, on the on the screen somewhere uh, appear somewhere. I don't quite understand that he is the guy. I don't quite understand that he's still alive or that it is him particularly making decisions or who is taking petition decisions there. Who is the circle of people making these decisions? I really don't have that information now. I can't understand how can you promise the European leaders one thing, then next day you start the full-fledged invasion in the country. I don't really understand clearly who are we dealing dealing with here. So when we're talking about negotiations, peaceful negotiations, I don't quite understand with whom. It's like us talking to you now. I know, Fred, who you are, and you know who I am. So there are witnesses who know uh, us, and at least we respect each other, and we can talk to each other. And we know and, and we can for sure achieve things, even if we have different views of certain things, we still can uh, reach the consensus because I know who's sitting in front of me and I respect that person. We don't have this in, in, in the case of these negotiations. I think Russia has to first find someone and then propose something. President Zelensky. Um, yeah, uh, very strange there. So apparently Zelensky doesn't know what this war is about, nor does uh, he know who he's really fighting. Uh, very alarming there <laughs> for the uh, leadership of Ukraine, right? Uh, so anyways, let's jump into the article here. Again, this is uh, Western propaganda here. So, you know, expect some jabs. Uh, some insults at Vladimir Putin. Uh, Vladimir Zelensky has casted doubt whether dictator, there it is, dictator, Vladimir Putin is alive amid ongoing speculation about his health. Remember, last year he was supposed to die uh, of cancer, so it looks like uh, that's, um, you know, he's supposed to die of cancer once again. Uh, the Ukrainian leader addressed the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, urging his allies to send more weapons to his army before new Russian offensives. He commented on the topic of peace negotiations between Ukraine and Russia and yesterday's helicopter crash in the capital, Kiev, in which 14 people died, including Ukraine's uh, Minister of Internal Affairs. Uh, you, MSN, you forgot to mention that very important point there. Uh, interesting omission. Ukraine had not yet claimed Russian involvement, but the president stressed there are no accidents in wartime, right? Hey, just just blame it on the Russians, man. Just blame it all on the Russians. What are you waiting for? We, we all know that that's going to be the, the agenda, right? Uh, among his comments about the enemy's tactics, perhaps the one that raised the most eyebrows, Klaus Schwab eyebrows, uh, was whether the Russian dictator had died. Zelensky said, right now, I don't understand who to talk to. I'm not sure whether the president of Russia is alive. It could be aliens, possibly. Like, what What are you talking about, man? This, uh, It's so weird. These these guys, like, uh, you know, the Western media and, and all these Western leaders, they come out with these weird, wishful thinking statements. It's like they think that if they speak it, it's just going to manifest into reality, right? Uh, they think if they say, like, Russia doesn't exist, and then they close their eyes and just keep repeating the phrase, once they open their eyes, Russia won't be there. 
um, which, uh, again, it's uh, very delusional. Uh, I don't understand that he's still alive, as we just heard him say, or that it is him particularly making decisions. Right. This is literally what uh, Zelensky uh, is doing. Like, he's the one not making the decisions. It's it's the United States. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. Very bizarre speech. Uh, he's questioning uh, the reality of the war. He's questioning uh, whether... Vladimir Putin still exists. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it does not look good. I, I think he needs to get his bearings because uh, the Russians are closing in. So, uh, you know, you need a leader who's strong uh, psychologically and mentally. And uh, I think he definitely uh, needs some counseling there. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below, guys. Your opinion on this uh, bizarre speech here. Uh yeah, the truth is stranger than fiction. Anyways, thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a wonderful day, and God bless you.